Hey, what's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna write to never retire in your twenties. It will end like Amanda Baez or Baez. But let's get into the reaction. When Amanda Bynes quit acting at the age of 24, her $6 million net worth implied that she'd have a low-stress, problem-free future. Instead, through addiction, mental hospitals, jail time, unfavorable articles, Damn. evictions, and the alienation of everybody close to her, she'd show that the universal dream of early retirement is actually a living hell. The announcement first came on the 22nd of June. That's why you gotta stay off drugs, okay? Stay off drugs. But it's like retiring in your 20s is type crazy. Because, like, you still got the rest of your life to live. Like, you like you haven't even lived, like, half your life yet, bro. Half your life yet. Like, you didn't even reach your fucking 40s yet, bro. And you're already retiring? Like, damn. Like, everyone will obviously will want to retire, um, like, in their 20s and shit. But it's like... But it's like, bro, you need to keep stacking that bread. Because what if some shit happens, bro? What if, like, bro, what if some shit happens? Like, when you make it to be fucking, you know, 50 or some shit, bro. Like, bro, you better keep stacking that bread until your body start breaking down. That's when you could be like, all right, cool, cool. I'm going to retire. I'm out the game. I got enough money. I got enough money to last me for the rest of my life. But it's like in your 20s, it's like, bro, you still got like a lot more life to live, bro of early retirement is actually a living hell. The announcement first came on the 22nd of June 2010. Like, bro, she was 24, prior, bro. Amanda was looking incredible. She was described as one of the funniest and most promising performers of her generation, often being cast as a kind, wholesome young adult, which seemed to reflect exactly who she was off camera. In a 2007 interview, it was highlighted that she'd almost never been in trouble. Yeah, you in jail? No. No jail? No, no, no uh, re not yet. Rehab? No. No rehab. Amanda Bynes, what kind of a starlet are you? I know, what's wrong with me? The reason for which being that she valued career Bynes, longevity. Okay, I just have my eye Amanda on Bynes. the prize, which for me is a, a long career, and I just, I don't want to blow what I've worked so hard to achieve. Before the interview ended, she'd add that she wasn't attracted to any kind of partying. I'm not interested in that. You know, the club scene and drinking doesn't appeal to me, so it's actually easier for me uh. not to do it. However, it seemed Amanda was telling a naughty little fear. It's crazy how people lie, man. experimenting on the set of hairspray one year prior inspired by an article in a magazine that called Adderall the new skinny pill and they were talking about how women were taking it to stay thin. I was like, well, I have to get my hands on that before stating I started smoking marijuana when I was 16 even though everyone thought I was the good girl. Her usage was then exacerbated by the failure of her side business in 2009 after which she was losing high-profile movie roles for getting too cooked whilst on set. When I was Damn. doing Hall Pass, I remember being in the trailer and I used to chew the Adderall tablet because I thought they made me more high that way. It was the mixture of being so high that I couldn't remember my lines and not liking my appearance that prompted Bynes to pull out of the film. After removing herself from Hall Pass, Amanda starred in one final movie, Easy A, the premiere of which becoming the straw that broke the camel's back. Bynes recalls attending a screening of her last film, Easy A, and having a different reaction than everyone else to the movie. I literally couldn't stand my appearance in that movie and I didn't like my performance. I was absolutely convinced I needed to stop acting after seeing it. In a foggy state of mind, Amanda announced her retirement in four spontaneous tweets reading, being an actress isn't as fun as it may seem. If I don't love something anymore, I stop doing it. I don't love acting anymore, so I've stopped doing it. I know 24 is a young age to retire, but you heard it here first, I've hashtag retired. Although with an bro, unresolved substance early, problem and nothing else to do, Amanda's usage continued to escalate. Makes I just sense. had no purpose in life. I'd been working my whole life and now I was doing nothing. She continues, I had a lot of time on my hands and I would wake and bake and literally be stoned all day long. Around this time, Amanda said she started hanging out with a senior crowd and I, I... You see? See, that what happens for a majority of people, man. Especially, especially like, you know, people like, like that, like, you know, getting in trouble when it comes to terms of like, you know, being in the streets and stuff. It's like a lot of people be doing this shit because they're bored, bro. Because they literally don't got nothing else to do. That's that's why kids and stuff be like, you know, in the streets. Because, like, bro, they be bored, bro. They be bored, so they go outside to find entertainment, bro. And it's like they don't got basketball courts. They don't got no programs for them to do. So, you know what they going to do? Hey, find, find entertainment somewhere. And, like, bro, do you know what's entertaining for them at that young age? Chaos. Chaos. So, hey, they going to go in the streets and fucking start finding shit to entertain them. So, it's like a lot of people be doing shit because they're bored. Hey, that's why you always gotta stay. Uh, that's why you always gotta stay productive and find something to do, bro. Because, bro, you gonna find the excitement somewhere, bro. Like, you gotta do something. Isolated a lot. I got really into my drug usage, and she was already on drugs, so it was like it was just. 
It was with this hey, more drug use, man. Began to frequent Cause she'd have nothing to do. Eventually leading to her first of many mug shots. She'd been arrested for sideswiping a police car, hit and run, and driving under the influence. Damn. Which she'd attempt to solve not through the court system, but rather by tweeting at the president. What? Hey, Barack Obama, I don't drink. Please fire the cop who arrested me. I also don't hit and run at the end, although the post was met with silence. Despite the unfavorable press, well, Amanda continued silence, to party right? in the public spotlight, even claiming in a People magazine interview that she was doing amazing while adding, I'm not talking about being arrested for DUI because I don't drink, and I don't drink and drive. It is all false, although according to others around her, Amanda was completely delusional. People around Amanda are really concerned about her, a source tells People. She tells People she doesn't party or drink, she doesn't realize she has a problem, which is followed by some rock solid evidence confirming this. See, Shorty in denial, man. That she was doing amazing. Amanda was dropped by her agent, publicist, and lawyer. Damn. With an stating all three people are telling similar stories. Fines was a dream client for years, but she. Nah, that's crazy. Even your lawyer drop you is crazy. I'm extremely difficult in the past 12 months, some say uncontrollable. All three members of the team made multiple efforts to help Amanda before she went radio silent. Eventually, the team decided to cut bait, acknowledging they can't help someone that doesn't want to be helped. Clearly fed up by her exactly. portrayal in the tabloids, Amanda found herself in physical altercations with the paparazzi, as well as in verbal altercations with other high-profile celebrities. For example, she'd make a tweet reading, At Rihanna, you look so ugly trying to be white, who'd then respond by stating, yeah, see what happens when they cancel intervention? Amanda then responded to this by stating, At Rihanna, unlike your fugly face self, I don't do drugs. You need the intervention, dog. I met your ugly face in person. You aren't pretty, you know it. In a different tweet, Amanda simply wrote, At Miley Cyrus, you're ugly, who take the more mature approach by responding with, I won't even entertain that thought. I was rooting for her comeback until she started attacking me, with Amanda's callouts being pretty clear projections, as she wasn't looking so great herself. Not even three years after retiring, she'd post this video to her Twitter with the caption, Man, she I'm bad. sucking on a Sour Patch Kid listening to music getting ready for tonight, prompting concern from her now declining fan base. She is seriously such a pretty girl. It's so sad seeing her like this. Something is definitely not right. She needs some help and someone or a few people to sit her down and get her back on straight. Although with no clear desire to pursue anything meaningful, Amanda's situation had no hope of improving. In that very same month, Amanda Bynes was allegedly kicked out of a New York gymnastics class for showing up in an outfit comprised of fishnets, a wig, and a lingerie like leotard. Of course, she denies it, stating, I'm suing every blog saying I was kicked out of gymnastics. What is wrong with you people? What would you do if you found fake stories about you making it difficult to ascertain what had actually happened? Man, she happened? in denial, yeah, man. Alongside a different video of Amanda dancing uncontrollably on a treadmill and another video of her doing a similar dance while walking around New York City without any shoes on. Three weeks later, she'd give a rare interview with In Touch magazine stating, I have no clue why people say I'm insane. Every time I've heard it, it came from an ugly person's mouth, so I don't care. Before she'd add, I don't drink, I'm allergic to alcohol. The star insists she doesn't smoke pot, which was followed by Amanda being evicted only one month later. So sad, man. Pot in the lobby of her building. Damn. As a result, she'd make her way to the Ritz Carlton Hotel, Damn. where she'd bring the receptionist to tears by telling the worker she was too ugly to check binds in. Damn, that's nice. Nine days stay in the building, Amanda was kicked out for removing smoke detectors, which accompanied other photos of the messy state the room had been Ew. left in. In the process, Amanda racked up a $9,000 hotel bill, which likely contributed to the $1.4 she'd reportedly spent in only a couple of months. Amanda apparently withdrew a hundred thousand. God damn, $1.4 million? Bro, what are you buying? Like... Bro, for 1.4 million, it's like at that point, what are you buying, bro? Like, you got to be buying like multiple cars or like houses or some shit, or like maybe like a private jet flight back and forth. Like, like, bro, in a few months, 1.4 million dollars, bro. Like, God damn. From her bank on June 4 and a further hundred thousand dollars on July 2nd, showing that she was spending about a hundred grand every 30 days. Contributing nah, to this 100K one K every 30 days is crazy. From New York to Los Angeles, which she used as an alternative to flying, given airports didn't accept Google as a form of identification. Once back in Los Angeles, she'd pour petrol on a random person's driveway before setting it on fire. In the process, she'd accidentally spill some of the petrol on her dog, prompting her to take it to a nearby convenience 
store for a wash where she'd be kicked out by the owner for walking into the back without permission. The bizarre evening led to her first stint in a mental hospital, after which she'd attempt to fix her life by going to rehab, reconciling with her family, and rediscovering purpose by enrolling in fashion school. To signify her fresh new start, Amanda had some of her tattoos lasered, which accompanied a series of tweets implying that things were back to normal. That would be until five months later, when she was once again arrested for driving under the influence. Damn. That very same month, Amanda was kicked out of fashion school for showing up high and causing, quote, horrendous arguments. Four weeks later, Amanda made another absolutely insane tweet, claiming that she'd been microchipped by her parents before stating that she was now engaged to a 19-year-old who she'd met in a fishing shop. It was then reported that Amanda Whoa. was seen heading into a West Hollywood tattoo parlor to have her fiancé's face inked on her neck. Apparently, she was turned away for not having proper identification, and this might have been for the better given she was also recorded getting overly touchy with a random security guard at around the same time. However, it seemed this would also become a turning point as the negative press completely vanished overnight. There weren't any new Amanda updates for well over a year until this article was posted simply confirming that she was back in fashion school. With a new challenge and goal to work towards, Amanda was able to stay sober for three whole years, returning to the public spotlight with a brand new interview. She'd state that things were going well. I've been going to school lately, fashion yeah. school, fit em. While expressing painful guilt over her choice to quit acting. I do miss acting and I actually have something surprising to tell you. I'm oh. going to start acting again. Yes! This would come alongside a tell-all interview with Paper Magazine in which she confirmed that she was now four years sober with the article stating that hey, she had to her. pursuit to fill the hole that acting had left. Fashion. So when she'd celebrate her fashion school graduation around seven months later, it was also a point of concern. Amanda had overcome her challenge, achieved her goal, but was back to a state of idleness. Not even six months after graduating, Amanda had returned to rehab, where she'd post selfies of her new home job looking face tattoos, God, as well as meet her boyfriend, who she'd get engaged to only eight weeks later. Given the two met while in rehab, it seemed they helped each other stay sober, although after a rocky three year relationship, it eventually came to an end. In the days of the following ah, breakup, well, yeah, Amanda was recorded by a fan in this video. Amanda says so. God damn, I thought they were looking up. Which was posted to Fuck. TikTok where it received over 15 million views and comments such as, Man, it breaks my heart to see how they destroyed Amanda Bynes, the sweetest girl ever. It took me so long to realize that this was Amanda Bynes. I'm so sad now. Girl, what? That's Amanda Bynes? My heart goes right? That don't even look like her. Well. However, the worst was still yet to come. On the very same day that the TikTok was posted, Amanda was found roaming the streets of Los Angeles naked resulting in her return to a psychiatric facility. Just two months after this, a new article was published God titled damn, Amanda bro. Bynes is sad and isolated after being released from mental health facility as she has lost interest in her passions while living alone, which was followed by another psychiatric hold just three months after her previous one. More optimistically, however, it was shown in September 2023 that Amanda was making an effort to remove her face tattoos, which you could argue is at least a step in the right direction. Yeah, but it's like, god damn, man. Like, yo, when things thought things were looking up, once she finished fashion school, thought she was getting more into acting and, like, no, uh, getting more into fashion, she just go take a quick left again, my nigga, and start going downhill. It's like, what the fuck, bro? Damn, that's a sad story. That's a sad story, man. Amanda Bynes. But it's like, I heard of Amanda Bynes before, but it's like, I never, you know. Like, bro, I saw her, like, you know, in a couple shows and movies, but, but I was never, like, you know, I was never, like, a crazy fan of her, for one. And it's, like, for two, when it comes to terms of actors, like, I don't know actors by their name. Like, I don't. Like, not at all. <laughs> like, I don't know no actor by their name at all, man. I only know, I only know, like, a select few, like, Samuel L. Jackson and shit, but it's, like, like, I don't be knowing these actors' name or nothing. Like, I really don't be giving a damn. Like, bro, I just care about the movie or show. If the movie is show good, hey, then I fuck with you. And I know you as the character that you played. Like, I don't know your actual name. No cap. But, hey, fire fucking, uh, fire fucking video from fucking Sunny. But it's like, man, that's a sad ass story, man. Hopefully, Amanda Bynes get her life together. But it's like, damn, everything went down here once she quit acting. But, hey, hey, man, hey, man. It, it's tough. Life is tough. But, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Suggest anything else you want to interact to. You know, down below in the comments. But check out in the next one.